Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Virgo, it's going to be your own reading today. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, it could turn into a love reading, right? We started out as a reading of kind of all about your journey. And if it turns into a love reading, of course we're going to have an extended reading. Uh, for a lot of you, they usually do. But let's get into this right now, Virgo. And uh, I have your Oracle cards here. And you have, you have uh, Judgment, and then you have the Moon here. So Judgment is beyond illusion. Very interesting here. And, uh, you know, this kind of means that in this particular deck, it's talking about something is, is real, or it's beyond illusion. Something is real that maybe you thought was an illusion, right? The Past Lives card, this is the Moon, which is really kind of interesting here uh, in, in this uh, particular deck. And, uh, you know, we have all these people who are here kind of uh, in these hands, and they are part of a Past Life community here. There could be somebody here, uh, maybe, that that is like a past life partner, right? We have this card here, and uh, mm -hmm, this is from the Law of Attraction deck, and this is supposed to be uh, the, uh, the Four of Pentacles, which is really interesting. So it talks about security. It does. Uh, it usually does talk about holding on. This particular one is all about security, like your financial security. The hangman showing up here. You know, this can be about, you could have been totally kind of in your enlightenment, right? All about your enlightenment. That's what the hangman does. Ruled by Pisces, right? Which is uh, ruled by Neptune, right? So Neptune is all about, you know, the intuition and, you know, connecting to the intuition. Uh, it's connected to the water, right? King Neptune. But this is, uh, you know, this is in the reverse here. There could be a Piscean here who feels like maybe they are kind of being... Maybe part of uh, something that is kind of hurting them could be could be about somebody who's making a sacrifice here, because it looks like you have this two of wands here. This talks about somebody who has kind of made plans, but they haven't like uh, put them into uh, full like full motion. Yeah, kind of here we have this three of swords, and this is doom and gloom. The swords are out of the heart, but it really is doom and gloom, and they're showing the raven right here with it. Yeah. Uh, you, I feel like you're planning for something new here, and you are, somebody might know that you're doing this, and they are maybe not feeling so good about it, mm-hmm, and so let's see what we have, maybe you have a, kind of like, a past person here as well, let's get one of these cards for Virgo, yeah, and we have the mind, mm-hmm, and the mind is, you know, they're showing the fox here, this can talk all about trickery, of course, but I feel like it, it really talks about tricking yourself. Or let's have a look here because I think it gets uh, far deeper than that. And this is what we are, what we think. Yeah, you can be kind of tricking yourself, right? Because it looks like you have put plans into motion, but there looks like there's a little bit of like procrastination here, possibly. And it says, everything we are springs from our thoughts. We form the world with our thoughts. And this is... Uh, Dhammapada, right, and who is, it looks like uh, maybe an Indian or a Thai, a Thai man, a prophet of, of some sort, right, uh, Indian philosopher, you know, I'm not really sure, but it is somebody who, you know, uh, looks very wise, yeah, the world you create, weave, and sow in your mind is illusory, right, the fruit of dreams, hopes, fears, projections, and prejudices, in other words, you know, you could have, like, you're, you're creating your own thoughts here. You're creating your own reality with your thoughts. We know that. That's why we're not supposed to be, you know, negative. I mean, that's kind of a, a real quick gist to explain it. But, you know, your thoughts are, you know, create your reality here, right? But you have this beyond illusory. I feel like uh, you were kind of in this energy. But now you are, like, moving, uh, you're moving forward at least... Uh, I would say spiritually or psychologically. Let's get into this reading to find out all about Virgo's situation here. Let's see what we got for Virgo's. And uh, interesting how these are uh, more kind of spiritual, uh, but not not entirely really. Um, they're just kind of spiritual, these oracle cards here uh, that I have today. Sometimes they are a little bit different, right? We have the Queen of Wands. She's actually in the upright. She is, she is Aries Leo or Sag. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign. Let's see what else we have for Virgo. 
And crossing you, Virgo, is going to be the Four of Wands. Mm -hmm. And you have the Five of Pentacles here. You look like you're leaving somebody out or somebody's leaving you out. For me, Virgo, it looks like you have plans here. You have plans for a new journey. This Two of Wands over here uh, is about somebody's new journey. And he's holding up the World card. And the man's looking at him like, where are you going? Or what plans do you have? Kind of. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have. And the Queen of Pentacles, this is you. We have the Five of Cups, the King now of Pentacles, the Three of Swords again, Queen of Swords reversed, and you have the High Priestess here. So you might be dealing with a Piscean for sure with the High Priestess. This Queen of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have for Virgo, and uh, you are, there. this reading is about decisions and there's some energy or somebody here who's going to be left behind because the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups is here, Virgo. Maybe you've been left behind, but it doesn't look like that. It looks like you're planning for your future. The Sun card showing up here. So you have some major clarity here. Yeah. And this is why you have this card beyond illusion. Like something that you thought maybe was an illusion, right? <coughs> mm -hmm. You kind of thought something, but now it's real for you. This is real, and uh, and this Two of Wands talks about kind of making your plans concrete, right? And uh, because you do have some plans here. Uh, I don't know if they are totally in motion. I feel like you are putting them, setting them into motion as we speak. Yeah, for some of you guys, let's see what else we have for Virgo. And uh, this five, you have two fives in the reading, Virgo. They talk about endings. Yeah, they do. And the death card, yes, definitely, five of pentacles. This is your, you're ending something here, right here. You're leaving somebody out, I believe, or you feel really left out, maybe, but it looks like you're leaving somebody out, or somebody's leaving you out, and you have other plans. We have the five of cups in the world card. Yeah, this these are your recent past energies. This is grieving. Somebody could have had emotional loss because of an ending. I feel like you do. You're probably suffering an ending here, but you are kind of looks like you're celebrating new plans. See the Page of Cups. This is wow. And then you have the King of Pentacles with the Knight and the Hermit Virgo. These are all you here. Here you are shining in your in your reading. Uh, in fact, you're here as the Knight, the Queen, and the King and the Hermit. Omg, right? And coming into play, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords unfolding. So there's worry here. I feel like you're worried about these plans that you're making. Or somebody, maybe somebody you're with is worried. Ten of Pentacles reversed. You might be worried about losing money. We have this card, uh, the Four of Pentacles with the Law of Attraction deck. It talks, uh, they're showing the, the password, right, on the, on the computer screen. I feel like that's when they kind of, when I saw this, I'm like, no, I don't feel. For me, I would never put any of this kind of computer stuff here. Uh, within a deck. No, because it takes away the originality of the tarot and it makes it, you know, just like everything else, just digital and impersonal and things like that. Yeah, they're showing this password here on the screen. But what it talks about is security, Virgo. Yeah, I'm kind of bitching to the author who made this deck. I like that deck, but you know, that's it's too much. So, Virgo, <laughs> you could be going do my reading, right? Virgo, down here, Virgo, is, you know, this is worry about losing money. I feel like it's a breakup. Ten of Pentacles reversed. The Four of Wands is in the heart of the matter. You're breaking up with somebody. I feel like you're, you're searching for your, your you might be uh, moving toward a past life uh, partner. Somebody that you, like, there's a real spiritual energy here with this hangman reversed. And uh, beyond illusions in those past lives, how other people are affecting you, three of swords, eight of swords reversed. Uh, this, these energies here, uh, kind of you and this other person, whoever they are here, uh, you know, somebody could be kind of releasing themselves from heartbreak, I believe. We have the three of swords here. We have it here. But this is kind of, over here is doom and gloom and the... The swords are out, but here the swords are in. This is about heartbreak, and it is, walking away from some a situation here. And somebody's going to grieve. It could be you, Virgo. But you're going toward, or both people, you're going toward, like, new plans. Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is how other people are affecting you. So this can talk about a breakup right here. 
Uh, and you could be, it can talk about, uh, I feel like this is kind of, somebody's releasing themselves from this. Uh, but I feel like you are moving toward this Ace of Pentacles, although it's reversed. And the Queen of Swords is how you are, could be affecting them, Two of Wands, again. So they could be angry here that you are, you know, maybe you're putting them at a crossroad. I mean, we have emotional loss in the Five of Pentacles. But somebody could be very angry here. I feel like what I'm getting in this reading is that you're, you're just choosing. You made a choice and you want like a new path, maybe a new, a new life partner, maybe somebody from your past. But you are moving on with your own plans here. And somebody I feel like is hurt. I also feel like you could be hurt too, yeah. We have the King of Wands here. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of players, not a terrible amount really, but we have maybe Scorpio with the World card, and the Queen of Swords can be any air sign, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have the High Priestess who, who could be Pisces and the Hangman up here. And now we have the King of Wands. So this is Aries, Leo, or Sag, and this is going to be your hopes and fears, and you have the Four of Swords. So maybe, you know, you could be hoping somebody's healing from another healing. You just look like you want to heal a situation. A lot of spiritual energy here, Four of Swords. The Sun card is, for me, very spiritual because of the illumination and the clarity. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Hangman is here, the Four of Swords now. And, you know, right here, and then, of course, these, you know, past lives and beyond illusion, this could be, you could be dealing with both a Pisces or a Scorpio and a fire sign, possibly, or maybe this Queen of Swords. But this could be two people right here, possibly. Your hopes and fears here is the Four of Swords. I feel like you're trying to recover something here. You're trying to recover some type of a union or a relationship with somebody. And you could be, like, hoping for that, but you could be fearing that somebody else can't, maybe you won't be able to do that, heal a situation. But you could be also kind of showing compassion here for somebody. There's somebody here who is sad, the moon card. You could be, you know, maybe fearing somebody's going to be really sad, the moon. You could. Because this is, uh, it's sadness. It can be sadness. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's some type of a secret in this uh, beyond illusion. I feel like you might have thought somebody was just kind of, what's the word? Somebody was just kind of not real or it wasn't going to come true or something like that. There's somebody here from your past life, Virgo. And you, I feel like, are, are like moving toward that person. But somebody else is, there's sadness in this reading, Nine of Swords. The moon card here, the five of pentacles, and the five of cups. So we're going to end this reading. We're going to go to the extended, Virgo. I really want to see this extended uh, reading. And we're going to have a look here at uh, your person's current. And we're going to see the shared energy and how they feel about you. <clears throat> Let's look at the shared energy right now. Star card reversed. Yeah, you guys could be losing hope in this situation. <clears throat> the star card reversed talks about a lack of hope. And inspiration and you know this could be really going on right now in a union mm -hmm. and let's see what else we have and how they feel nine of wands they're worried here that this is this is completing itself that this is coming to an end and this person is already uh, they've already they're already in battle they're already hurt here mm -hmm. very challenged we're gonna see we're gonna do their spread Virgo their current energy their desires their fears what's crowning their thoughts, and what may be in their environment, their challenges, or what their environment's like, like what their life is like right now, and what's hidden in their outcome. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. You guys rock. The extended link is below, you guys.